That's my name. <laughs> <laughs> and mine too. <laughs> An idea is a calling. Raise your hands up if you believe you have an idea that is worth something. We believe that an idea is a calling to fill in the gaps in the world. When we think of Richard Branson, who founded the Virgin Group and built a successful brand that is ingrained in every part of our life, from media to travel. When we think of Bill Bowerman and Phil Knight, who founded Nike, and caused an innovative paradigm shift in sportswear and are also the game changers in sports, fashion and movement. When we also think of Oprah Winfrey, who built a media empire that led her to become one of the most influential women in the world. All of these people have used their idea to fill in a gap in the world. My name is Josh. And my name is John. And we're going to take you on a journey on how our, our, our idea um, filled in the gap in the world. Uh, it all started in while we was on holiday in New York. And why we went to New York was because our father passed away in January 2012. And while we were in New York, um, we, we were there because we were compelled to go there because our, when our father passed away, we realized that life was very, very short. And New York was one of his favorite cities. So we decided to go there. When we were in New York, we noticed a lot of people were wearing their bags like this. So as you can see, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm wearing my bag on, on the front, because a lot of people in New York, um, especially tourists, they tend to wear their bags with a the, with the bag on their stomach um, to prevent pickpocketing. So when we saw this, we, it, it encouraged us to kind of do some research into this. And we found out some very interesting t statistics. The first one we found was pickpocketing has actually increased by 20% in London from the year 2010 to 2012. We also found out that on average, 600,000 incidents of pickpocketing are reported every year in London and the UK. Daily, internationally, there's about 400,000 pickpocketing incidents that take place. We also found out the top 10 most pickpocketed cities in the world and they included the following. London, Barcelona, Madrid, Prague, Paris, Florence, Rome, Amsterdam, Buenos Aires, and Athens. We decided to do further research into the luggage and travel accessories um, industry. And we found that by 2015, it is projected to be worth over $48 billion globally. So this is an interesting market for so us to get into. <laughs> So we believe that we could create a product that could not only decrease the amount of pickpocketing victims, but also decrease the amount of individuals having to wear their bags like this. Yeah. <laughs> After doing our research, I suddenly got a spark of an idea. And I said to Joshua, pass the backpack that we carried everywhere with us while we were in New York. And I said to him, you know, if we simply relocate where the zip is on this bag, we can actually prevent pickpocketing. Joshua gave me that look that he normally get, gives me when he doesn't get, get what I'm talking about. <laughs> right. So does anyone here think they know where I relocated the zip on the bag? Raise your hands, actually, if you know where I... Okay, that's good. Trust me, it took me a while, so... <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you. So I simply put it at the back of the bag. It's a simple idea, but very effective. As soon as we returned back to London, I sketched out the design, I had a sample made, and sent up some images to the painting offices around the globe. Within a couple of weeks, we got a certificate back proving that we had actually secured that patent for that design. So this was eight months from actually sketching out the design, from conceptual, actually sketching out the design to actually getting the physical bags made to sell. So here we are, we have a product that is solving a problem, so you think it would be plain sailing, right? Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> we contacted a number of high street retailers, large shops, and even small boutiques, and they all said no. At first, yeah, yeah, yeah they all said no. And at first, we, we were really heartbroken because we put our hearts, our minds, our money into this idea. 
And to be honest, we even started to doubt ourselves and even started to question and say, okay, was there any space for our idea in the world? How many of you in, in this room have actually thought about an idea and maybe you told a family member or friend and they just told you, no, it won't work, or they've made a sly comment, or shot it down and just been like, no. And you thought to yourself, <laughs> actually, maybe they're right, maybe it won't work. Or how many of you have actually been into a shop or been online or looked on TV and you've seen a product or service being offered and you thought to yourself, wait a minute, I thought of that first. <laughs> well, there's so many ideas out there in our world and it's when you have a categorical belief and drive that you can plough through every form of rejection. And you know what? The more no's we got, the more determined we were to prove them wrong. Then we came across an opportunity to pitch to an inspiring business leader. We have never been in that situation before. We were up against businesses who had been trading for years and who were turning over large sums of money. So, uh, but due to our charm and good looks, <laughs> <laughs> we actually won. So who can recognize the man in the picture? Yeah. <laughs> That's Sir Richard Branson. Through Virgin Pioneers, he gave us the cash injection that we needed and also the support. This gave us even more confidence to carry out our idea all the way through. In addition to this, we also won the Shell Livewire Award. So here we are, we have a product, and we are getting a lot of positive responses, but we're still faced with the challenge of setting up pop-up shops. We even st were still contacting huge retailers, and they were still ignoring us. But me and Joshua always felt that our idea was a calling, so we decided to set up our first pop-up stall in um, Spitterfields Market in London. Um, while we were there, we actually managed to sell out on, on most of our bags. Um, here in this image, there's four left, but after that image was taken, they all went. Um, so that was, that, was really, that was a really great experience for us because we could see that the public did want our product. Um, and when we were actually at that stall, that same day, um, we were approached by an individual who presented us with an opportunity to sell our bags at Westfield Shopping Centre. And we just took up that opportunity because we believe that when an opportunity knocks, you have to answer, you know. We're still on our journey to make High Spirit a multinational brand. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be random. There's going to be highs. There's going to be lows. But most importantly, the journey is going to be worth it. During our journey, we've come to realize that when you receive an idea, just remember that someone else in the world has probably come up with that idea at the same time. But let me, it, let me let you into a secret. It's a matter of who acts on it first. Whenever you have, there's a lot of problems in the world waiting for solutions. So whenever you receive an idea, take every step that you can to bring that idea to life. Some ideas will work right away to be honest, some ideas you need to take back to the drawing board. Don't ever think your idea is too small because sometimes the most simplest ideas are the most effective ideas. What do we think of the bicycle frame that was invented by L.R. Johnson, the ironing board that was invented by Sarah Boone, and the slice breading machine that was invented by Otto Frederick Rohweder. He, this guy basically invented sliced bread. These are all individuals that have created simple inventions that are so effective in our everyday lives. There's a lot of gaps to be filled in the world and that's where you come in. Whenever you receive an idea, act on it to solve the problem. You know, they say actions speak louder than words, but we believe that your actions can make that positive change that we need in this world. So is your idea going to change the fashion industry? Or the music industry? Or is it going to change the way we use our phones? What's your idea? What's your idea? What's your idea? To, to fill, fill in, in the, the gap. gap. Thank you. <laughs>